Hey there! In this video, we're diving into everything you need to know about OBD2 trouble code P0030. First things first, let's break down what the P0030 code actually is. This code gets triggered when the engine control module detects a fault in the heater circuit of the oxygen sensor. Specifically, we're talking about the oxygen sensor heater circuit for Bank 1, Sensor 1. Now let's learn what is Bank 1, Sensor 1. In engines with multiple cylinder banks, like V6 or V8 engines, you'll have two sides or banks of cylinders. Bank 1 typically refers to the side of the engine where cylinder 1 is located, and Bank 2 is on the opposite side. Each bank has its own exhaust line, and each exhaust line is equipped with two catalytic converters. Now here's where the oxygen sensors come in. Each catalytic converter has two oxygen sensors, an upstream sensor, which we call sensor 1, and a downstream sensor, known as sensor 2. So when we talk about bank 1 sensor 1, we're focusing on the oxygen sensor that's upstream on the side of the engine where cylinder 1 is located. Now let's learn why P0030 was triggered. Your vehicle's oxygen sensor plays a vital role in monitoring the oxygen content in the exhaust gases. It sends this data to the ECU, which then uses it to maintain the optimal air-fuel ratio. The ECU controls the air-fuel ratio by adjusting the timing of the engine's valves, allowing just the right amount of air and fuel to enter the combustion chamber. But here's the thing. An oxygen sensor won't function correctly until it's heated to a certain temperature, around 600 degrees Fahrenheit for conventional sensors. That's where the heater circuit comes in. It's designed to warm up the sensor quickly, so it starts working sooner. The ECU regularly checks this heater circuit to make sure it's functioning properly. If the ECU detects a problem with the heater circuit in the oxygen sensor on bank one, sensor one, it triggers the P0030 code. Now that we know what P0030 means, let's find out how to fix it. Troubleshooting P0030 involves several steps, and we'll discuss each one in detail. Let's get started. Before diving into specific repairs, perform an OBD2 scanner reset to clear the codes. Sometimes these codes pop up due to recent maintenance work and can resolve themselves after a reset. To reset the error codes, use an OBD2 scanner. You can find the best OBD2 scanner using the link in the description below. Simply connect the scanner to your vehicle, follow the instructions to clear the trouble codes, and see if the P0030 code reappears. If the code comes back, it means there's a persistent issue that needs further troubleshooting. Step 1. Start by visually inspecting the heated oxygen sensor. Carefully examine the sensor itself, along with the wiring and connectors. Look for any signs of physical damage, such as cracks, frayed wires, or loose connections. If the HO2 sensor appears to be damaged, it's best to replace it. Make sure to get the correct sensor for your car's make and model. You can find the right oxygen sensor through the link in the description below. Step 2. Check for a blown fuse and broken wires. First, locate your car's fuse box. You'll need to find the specific fuse that controls the oxygen sensor heater circuit. To do that, check the diagram on the back of the fuse box cover. It'll tell you which fuse is the one you're looking for. Once you've found the fuse, inspect it closely. If the fuse link is broken, it'll need to be replaced. Next, check the wiring around the oxygen sensor. Look for any broken or frayed wires. If you spot any damage, repair the wires and recheck to see if the P0030 code is clear. If the fuse and wiring are in good condition, but the P0030 code persists. Let's move on to the next step. Step 3. Test the oxygen sensor heater. Oxygen sensors typically have four wires. Two of these wires, usually of the same color, are dedicated to the heater circuit within the sensor. Over time, the heater circuit can burn out and stop functioning properly. To test the heater circuit, you'll need a multimeter. Set the multimeter to check for continuity, then place the probes on the two heater wires. If the circuit has continuity, the multimeter will beep, indicating that the heater is functioning. If there's no beep, it means the heater circuit is broken and you'll need to replace the oxygen sensor. 
If you want a more detailed guide on how to test the oxygen sensor, be sure to check out our in-depth video on this topic. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth automotive diagnostics and repair guides. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos.